Hey everybody, Cody Meyer here, part of the Gary Yamamoto uh, Custom Baits Pro Staff. Very proud of that too, by the way. You know, these are baits uh, for me, you know, since the beginning of time, I remember the Cinco, uh, really fell in love with Yamamoto a long time ago and excited to be on the team. And I wanna share with you guys a bait that I'm not even 100% sure how they, they officially announce it. It should be uh, Catches Lots of Big Bass. That should be the name, but it's, it's this guy right here. I call it the Sanchuo, uh, amazing, amazing bait, you know? And it's one of those baits that when you pick it up, you start throwing it, you understand how good this thing is. You're gonna become hooked just like I did. You're gonna see this bait here. You know, uh, very, very cool. I, I have a couple of favorite colors too I'll share with you guys. But how I like to throw this bait, you know, you look at it, it's kind of a hybrid between a salamander, a newt, um, a water dog. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's got a lot of action, a lot of, you know, little legs here, appendages, and you see this tail. So this thing has great action, really attracts a lot of cool fish. And they were able to do some of my favorite colors like this amber laminate. Uh, 926 in this in this bait really really cool so number one you know I, I prefer um, probably the number one way I'm gonna throw this bait is on a Texas rig so I'm gonna Texas rig this with a little tungsten weight one key one tip I like to do I like to use a lighter weight you know so if I'm flipping around some heavy cover um, I've seen a lot of guys you know, on the West Coast fish this. Fletcher out here, you know, on some of these lakes fish this bait. And I like a lighter weight, quarter, maybe three eighths of an ounce tungsten. And a key is I like when I peg that weight to maybe have that peg up, you know, two and a half, three inches. And why, when that bait comes through, the weight's gonna hit the bottom and this is gonna kind of slide down and it's gonna have really good action as it's falling. And I am not afraid to throw this thing in the thickest of cover, especially around spawn time. You know, when a fish sees this bait, it's gonna definitely be very protective over, you know, if it's guarding fry, if it's getting ready to spawn, they love, love this bait. Uh, number two, I love this on a Carolina rig. You know, very self-explanatory there, but Carolina rig, you know, with the four aught, uh, Texas rig hook, you know, it's going to kind of slide through the water column, have really good action as you pull it. Again, I love the way Yamamoto put these legs here when it, you know, goes through the water, it's going to pull them, really have good rocking action. And the third way, I'm not even honestly supposed to talk about this, but on a chatterbait. Okay, this is a Japanese secret and, you know, the Japanese guys that, that told me about this, like I say, they might get really mad at me, but this is what they catch really, really big fish on. So if you're throwing the Zako, um, you're throwing the Swim and Cinco, and you, you have a good limit, and you wanna try to get one really, really big bite, please try this bait, guys. And the way you rig it, you wanna rig it like this, um, not, not you know, flat side, you're gonna, you're gonna have it like this. And when you do that, that tail is gonna really come to life. It's gonna really kick, really paddle. And I've caught some really, really big bass on this thing. So. You guys, if you're looking for something new, trust Gary Yamamoto. This is a bait you're absolutely gonna love. You might not be able to pronounce it right, but you're gonna catch a lot of big fish on it.